in-home lactation counseling for improved breastfeeding success for Nas Chaudhary. The American Academy of Pediatrics recommends exclusive breastfeeding for six months. Causal links exist between poor breastfeeding progress and development of postpartum depression or postpartum anxiety. There is evidence that breastfeeding can protect against postpartum depression or assist in a swifter recovery from depressive symptoms. Breastfeeding statistics. According to the CDC, only 58.3% of infants are exclusively breastfed at six months. It is estimated that 50 to 80% of women report the baby blues and one in five will experience postpartum depression or anxiety. New mothers face a variety of challenges with establishing and developing successful breastfeeding regimens. In Contra Costa County, breastfeeding rate is 96.2% at birth and 81.6% at six months. Contra Costa County is ranked 11th in the state for exclusive breastfeeding. Current practices. Researchers found a 68% increase in exclusive breastfeeding correlated with the support of in-home lactation teaching. A study conducted in Sweden in 2005 was published in the Journal of the American Academy of Pediatrics. Researchers found that in-home lactation services were drastically improving breastfeeding outcomes among Swedish mothers. Breastfeeding education during the early postpartum period has shown to improve the efficacy and length of successful breastfeeding. Women who never established breastfeeding are reported to have a 2.4 fold chance of developing depressive symptoms at 16 weeks postpartum. Additionally, postpartum depression and anxiety can actually reduce the ability to breastfeed. Therefore, the damage to mental health can directly affect the physical ability to provide nourishment to the infant. Finally, 1 in 1,000 cases of postpartum depression or anxiety may progress to postpartum psychosis. The proposed project is to improve breastfeeding rates by utilizing in-home lactation consultants to provide ongoing lactation support for the new mothers. Weekly meetings will be held with a board-certified lactation consultant for one month to increase successful breastfeeding practices. The target population are new mothers aged 25 through 38 who live in Contra Costa County and utilize Kaiser Walnut Creek's Women's Health Services. The proposed program will benefit this population by increasing rates of exclusive breastfeeding and improve overall mental health outcomes. Most new mothers who are interested in additional lactation support must research and find their own home lactation consultants. Here is a breakdown of the SWOT analysis that covers the strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. We will elaborate upon these in future slides. Weaknesses include an inability to breastfeed. There are a variety of causes for either the mother or infant may not be able to physically breastfeed. For the mother, examples of physical limitation can include hypoplasia of the breast, lactation failure, low milk supply, PCOS, medication interactions, or an active HIV or AIDS infection. For the infant, issues can be associated with poor latch, oral abnormalities, or prematurity. Secondly, there may be an inability to align the schedules with the consultant. The mother or the consultant may not be able to find a time that is mutually convenient for a lactation appointment. Nap times, distance, or challenges with traffic could exacerbate scheduling issues. The consultations may be disruptive, and the arrival of a stranger in the home can be disruptive to the new parents, and in particular to the partner of the mother. He or she may feel that this is an invasion of the family bonding time with the baby and or the other children. Additionally, the partner may not be very invested in the breastfeeding and find the consultant to be meddling. Finally, there may be issues with child care for the other children in the home, or other family members may see it as intrusive. Lastly, Success of the project will be measured by completion of the program with a goal of 70 to 80 percent for all participants. For the proposed 10 participants, at least 7 to 8 should complete the program. This would be approximately 40 total visits for 10 mothers. This may simply not be a realistic goal. Any proposed project can anticipate a lack of support from clinics or medical facilities. The proposed location is Kaiser Walnut Creek Women's Health Clinic. It is quite possible that there will be a resistance with such a large health care provider, and it may become necessary to consider a smaller local women's clinic for the initial intervention. Financially, there will also be a significant challenge of establishing and identifying financial funding for the intervention. 
The board certified lactation consultant costs approximately $250 per hour and can be extrapolated across all participants for a total cost of about eight to $10,000. It may become necessary to identify potential grants or other sources of financial support. In spite of all the challenges and potential hurdles, the proposed project has real applications that can be implemented at a larger scale. The next step would be to include a larger target population, for example, all new mothers in Contra Costa County. Secondly, there can be an increased length of time for the project to expand the consultation for three months, as well as increase the reach of the project to other medical facilities or clinics. If feasible, this project could be implemented in a statewide translation. The Commonwealth Fund is a private foundation whose mission is to promote high-performing health care, and in their November 2020 article, the authors stated that the U.S. has the highest maternal mortality rate among developed countries and is the only country not to guarantee access to provider home visits or paid parental leave in the postpartum period. This statement is disturbing and warrants additional research and investment of resources in order to improve the health outcomes of new mothers in Contra Costa County. Successful breastfeeding is a vital component of maternal mental health and breastfeeding improves nutrition for the infant and physical health of the mother. Current practices at Kaiser Walnut Creek Women's Clinic are insufficient. The proposed intervention includes ongoing visits with a board certified lactation consultant at the patient's home. The goals are an improvement of breastfeeding health and a decrease in postpartum anxiety and depression rates. Future programs will focus on the expansion of the target population and increase the length of time for the pro project. Improving breastfeeding practices for patients is an evidence-based intervention for new mothers that has documented positive outcomes.